There is a literal snowstorm going on outside, but uh, I've got packages here, so it's time for another mailbag. Let's start off with this one. This one only says five times wire connector. It certainly feels like there's five of something in there. Let's open this up and have a look. Oh, interesting. Let's take a closer look at this. So what these are, are RJ45, um, I guess, female to female couplers. I've got five of them here. And I got these because I've got a bunch of shorter Ethernet cables. And sometimes the ones I have, like, you know, if you want to move your computer around, you don't want to run a brand new cable just because you're missing five feet. So basically this one, you just plug your cable into here, plug another cable into there, shorter one, and into your computer and I mean they say they shouldn't have any uh, data loss but I don't really believe that these were uh, five for a dollar thirty I think on eBay I'm gonna actually sacrifice one here they might be they might be glued together I'm not sure but I want to see what's inside they call these things like cat 5 or cat 6 compatible but that's probably nonsense. They're probably just no shielding. They're probably just the uh, wire to wire connection from one end to the other. Yeah, this one is probably not going to make it through surgery here. Yeah, so that's all it really is. There we go just a little Z-shaped piece with uh, just wires going across. There is no interference suppression. There's no shielding. There's none of that. These are just wire-to-wire -wire interconnects. I don't have a lot of faith in their ability to not leak um, like radiate interference so take that with a grain of salt I'm still going to use them because very likely for my purposes this will be just fine but yeah nothing much to see here I don't know if I'll be able to get this guy back together yeah maybe I'll give it another shot Let's see it should just go like this the comb should go inside there so that's in and this one that doesn't make any sense is that upside down does it actually go the other way I think I might have actually screwed it up yeah let's just I guess this one's a lost cause but uh, whatever I got four more and you guys know what the heck it looks like inside it's just this uh, really small gauge wire that's about it. Okay, we can move on to the next one. Next one up, this uh, kind of chubby one. It says toy accessories on it. And so, could literally be anything. Something else in the bottom there. Holy crap. Okay, let's take a closer look at this. I often have an approximate idea of what's coming in the mail simply because I know what I ordered. I don't order all that much. I don't have any like support. This all comes out of my own pocket. But in this case, um, these are a little bit smaller than I thought. I wanted to build a... Um, well, you know what? I think I'll keep it secret until... Uh, so I have a little bit more developed so you guys can follow it up but I want to build a custom tool basically and uh, these are planetary drive motors so they're electric motors with a planetary gear set on the very top here don't know if I'll be able to spin this with my fingers but they looked a lot bigger than this in the description I knew the size but I guess I wasn't I don't know what I was expecting. 
you guys are expecting too much out of me. Okay, um, so this is, yeah, roughly 10 millimeters long is the body of the motor. Um, on its widest side, it's maybe 8 or 9 mils wide. And on the narrow side, it's 7-ish. Mm, so this is a very small motor. I'll have to go grab the specs off my computer because I'm not quite sure what they are. Um, yeah, this is this is actually very interesting. I was not expecting these to be in already. I was actually impatiently waiting for this to come in. But uh, I'm going to have to see if I can get this going for you guys so we can get them running. So let me just set myself up to bring you guys in a bit closer and we'll do that right now. Well, I think this is as close as I can reasonably get you while still being in focus. But uh, yeah, just again here to give you a sense of scale. These are centimeters. So the whole thing is two centimeters minus this little end of sticking in shaft there. Also, if you'll look over here, you see those two points there? One and two. Those are the contacts. So this might be a little difficult, but hey, let's see if I can get this to work. So I've got my power supply on right now. Uh, this one here supplying the 3 volts. I set this to 3. It's supposed to run between 3 and 5 volts, about 140 RPM. Let's try not to short anything. Ooh, that's like... Look at that speed. That's perfect. So I want something that will be... Oh, it's really loud too. I wanted something that'll be extremely torquey for my application, but very small as well. So, well, clearly I got the very small part down. Um, the torque is remains to be seen, but that is at three volts. It says it runs from three to five. So it's perfect for a single cell lithium battery. So let's see at five, should go quite a bit faster now. Not much faster. So let's see how much, uh, you'll have to take my word for it here because I can't really show you the current. I'll, I'll, let's see how much current at 5 volts. About 70, 60 to 70 milliamps. And I'm going to switch it back down to uh, 3 volts and we'll see. I'm going to try to stall it at 3 volts and see how much uh, current we get out of it. don't know how to stall it though because I really don't have any extra fingers. Maybe if I go like this. So current without trying to stall it, 53 milliamps. Up over 70 milliamps. It's really difficult to keep this in shot at the same time. Eighty, yeah, I got eighty milliamps. Actually, it's quite torquey, so I'm kind of excited to see if I can build something uh, that'll work with this. But uh, my goal here is this has a little, this plastic piece here um, should interface with the part that I build. Um, it's kind of like I figured coupling onto a shaft would be take a lot of space, but man, I don't know if I can even three D print something that size because that cross here a single one of the arms of the cross is like one point something mils so yeah this will be a challenge also these were freaking expensive I think uh, all five of these was about 13 bucks so I'm gonna have to try if I can make my tool work because at that price, I can't really afford to not use them. But uh, anyways, it should be interesting. And even if I fail miserably at building a tool, well, at least you'll come along for the process, right? Right? Let's go on to the next one. Next one up is this one here. The uh, description is CD4060 Dreamlight. I believe this is a kit, which is great because I'm running low on kits.
Yeah, indeed it is. So let's open this up and have a look. Not 100% what this kit does, but when I see kits for cheap, I get them. This one was only about uh, under two bucks at least. A little bit of documentation here. Don't know how useful that's going to be. Ooh, I got a speaker module. So it's got a sound module, I think. It's got a speaker uh, here tied into a little add-on board. And here's the add-on board with a chip on blob. That's going to be interesting. Where does this plug in? CL9300A, is this it? Nope, PX066. That's a good question. I don't really know how this uh, how this is going to go together. A CD4060 would go there. Speaker is here. I don't know if they expect you to just bring wires over. I'm not entirely sure. SP1 there. It almost looks like they want you to... Speakers here. It's going to go somewhere in here. Huh. Interesting. That's the speaker. It's actually just a buzzer, but I suppose you could uh, buzz it at different frequencies for speaker use. Bunch of resistors. I'm sure some of them are close enough and not exactly the value. Bunch of LEDs here. And I seem to have red, green, yellow. Yeah, red, green, and yellow LEDs. We've got a little, little bit of a header. Couple transistors, a diode. That might be a Zener diode. Do we see a Zener diode in there? LEDs. Diode three. That doesn't necessarily mean anything. Diode one, diode two. So one, two, and three. Hopefully they're the same couple of caps. Yeah, nothing much to see here, but uh, it'll be interesting to put this together and try to find out where the heck this goes. I don't know if it lines up with any hole even. There's a 50k pot. There it is there. Five zero and four zeros. That's 50. Wait, five zero and four zeros. Oh yeah, uh, no, that's 500k. What the heck? That says 50k. Is there another pot? No. Nope. I wonder if they if they made a mistake or is it my mistake? Could be either way. Don't know what this says. No idea. Okay, we can move on to the next one then. Next one up is this one. It's actually fairly uniform, and it says uh, test equipment. So literally, again, could be anything. That looks like another kit. That's fairly large. Let's take a closer look. All right, well, let's see what this is all about. An acrylic case. Oh, I know what this is. There we go. Function generator. It's a, it's a little function generator. I thought it was going to be a bit bigger than this. So that makes sense. It's a little kit. Yeah, there's the little rotary encoders and the knobs. It's a kit to make a function generator. Generate uh, square waves, triangle waves, and sine waves, I believe, at different uh, frequencies. Documentation here. Yeah, there's a schematic, component layout, the um, component list. Interesting. Okay, well that's going to be quite an interesting kit to put together and one that I want to put together soon for a secret reason. Uh, put it down in the comments below if you know what the secret reason could be. Oh, the chip that escaped. There is something I've been hiding from you guys for um, maybe a few months now. And all will be explained, but uh, definitely not until after I build this kit. 
but that's pretty cool let's move on and last but certainly not least is this one and you'll notice it's already open yeah I know what's inside this one and the only reason I do know what's inside this one is because this one came maybe two days after I ordered this from eBay with an item location China but it actually came from Mississauga so it came from uh, the province I live in uh, literally uh, I think six hours away something like that six hours away from me and I was wondering what the heck could have came from there and usually my Amazon orders come from that area this one was an eBay order so I wondered what I ordered on Amazon turned out it was an eBay purchase and this is what that is so we have here a whole bunch of stepper motors not only stepper motors but stepper motor drivers so I have one of these somewhere kicking around oh this one comes with a few leads too um, male to female DuPont connectors so I have some of these kicking around somewhere I'm not exactly sure where I think I bought the 12 volt version here Nope, I bought the 5 volt version okay either way it doesn't matter and these are just these little cheap stepper motors I think I paid uh, 10 bucks for this whole kit which isn't very much at all and my plan is to build something that both uh, will challenge me uh, on the physical design side on the elect uh, electronic design side the um, programming side so it should uh, tickle my fancy in three different ways and I'm hoping to make this like a sort of year-long project to make something really complex and really beautiful and now this is uh, stepper motors are great for this because they have repeatability they have precision they have uh, positional uh, awareness not feedback they don't they don't have a they don't have a potentiometer or anything inside but if you run um, a device all the way to an end stop and then count the steps from there it's a good way to find out at what position your um, device is so let's see I'm gonna open all these up and we'll take a look at what this is all about I just wanted to take a second here to show you the driver boards so the driver boards uh, looks like they're good from from 5 to 12 volts so if I wanted to upgrade these motors to the 12 volt versions I could do so um, the main driver board is a ULN 2003AN and it seems as though I need um, five output pins on the Arduino so this guy here or sorry four output pins in order to drive one of these and unfortunately I think we only have what is this maybe 13 13 or so pins available from an Arduino Uno so I might have to drive this from an Arduino Mega which I I don't think I want to do so I may have to use shift registers in order to push in the values but I mean I guess I'll figure that out when the time comes because I would like to run this all from an Uno because certainly the Uno has enough processing power and the Uno is available for a few dollars whereas the Mega is like ten dollars for me but in case you didn't know these uh, stepper motors actually are geared so they should have a bit more torque than the uh, current they consume so it should be very interesting to see what we can get accomplished with this and especially with my idea of what I want to accomplish with this I think it'll be a really cool project that will involve you know 3d printing electronic design software programming it should be really cool overall I think I forgot to mention it but the stepper motors cost me about uh, 12 13 bucks for the whole kit and the um, this guy here the function generator which I just chucked a bunch of screws out of uh, cost me um, I think it was seven dollars Canadian so this pile of motors and kits and stuff make up today's mailbag thanks for watching